Week two of the NFL season is overreaction week, where we try not to overreact to the results we just saw in week one. And in week one, the Atlanta Falcons lost at home to the Pittsburgh Steelers by a score of 18 to 10. Kirk Cousins did not look good in his Falcons debut, throwing for just 155 yards on 16 of 26 passing with a touchdown and two picks. Can Captain Kirk and the Falcons bounce back in Philly on Monday night? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. Brought to you by popular demand for a limited time. You can get all sports, all access, seven days, only 99 bucks. And that's not just with myself. Also, the bad lieutenant, Ross Benjamin, two cappers for the price of one. Ross Benjamin is all over the leaderboards with NFL so far this season. You're going to want to take advantage of that deal as soon as you can. As always, though, no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these videos. Let's get into the free pick. The Eagles are a six-point favorite. The total sits at 47. I mentioned the Falcons. They were the preseason favorite to win the NFC South. That is not looking good at the moment. Uh, perhaps it shouldn't be a surprise that Kirk Cousins coming off an injury, playing for a new coaching staff with new teammates, uh, for an Atlanta team that struggled offensively last year. Perhaps it shouldn't be a surprise that he struggled in week one against the Steelers. It's hard to see it getting any easier on the road in Philly. Uh, you look at the way the Eagles performed against the Packers. Uh, they, put, they certainly put points on the board, and that was fortunate for myself. I did have two plays on that game. I had Saquon anytime touchdown and I had the Eagles team total over. Both cashed easily. Saquon had three touchdowns, and uh, the Eagles went way over their team total. Uh, I certainly looked at the Saquon touchdown prop for this game, but as uh, as expected, we've been priced out. That's more than two to one at the moment, and it's probably not going to get any cheaper anytime soon. So uh, aside from that, though, the team total still, still looks uh, pretty solid here. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, the Falcons would appear to be at a severe disadvantage on the line of scrimmage, particularly the matchup between the uh, Eagles offensive line, ranked number two by Pro Football Focus, and the uh, Falcons defensive line, ranked number 28 by Pro Football Focus. I expect the Eagles to run all over Atlanta, uh, get what they want, and put points on the board. Uh, the line is six. You know, if I was going to play it, I would certainly lay it. But I still think the best bet here is simply on the Eagles team total over. Whether or not Kirk Cousins performs better isn't going to matter as long as the Eagles get their 27 points. And uh, that's the way we're going to play it. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.